friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another haul video for you guys. I recently placed an order at Butterfly Reflections Inc. for a few items that I want to use in my upcoming holiday card series. So I thought I would share with you what I picked up. And then at the end of the haul, I thought I would talk a little bit about my recent trip to Germany. I thought I'd put that at the end, so if you're not interested in that part of the video, you can just watch the haul and then um, you can leave if you want. But if you're interested in how my trip went, because I mentioned it in my previous haul, um, then I'll give you a little update on that, okay? So I'm going to set this off to the side and we'll go through everything one by one. So the first thing I got was this little pack of doodads embellishments. This is from Buttons Galore and it's just a whole bunch of different sequins that I thought might be fun for Christmas cards. They are like a perfect um, Christmas tree green and there's like a whole assortment of little things in there and they've got some iridescent shimmer on some of them and just um, some metallic shimmer on others. I thought those would just be fun for like some shaker cards so I went ahead and picked up that. Next thing that I picked up was this stencil from Sunny Studio. It's called Forest Trees. It's a six inch wide stencil set. So I'll just open that up quickly for you guys so you can see what that looks like. Um, there's a couple different stencils in there that you can layer to create some trees in the background. Um, so they're very similar but they're just like a slightly different orientation there so that you can uh, use as many of them as you want to create like a little background that has maybe some uh, different shades of the same hue or you could totally change it up and do different hues but I kind of like that look of like the trees in the distance in the fog or whatever um, you know in kind of like a hazy color so I went ahead and got that because I thought it was really cool and interesting then I picked up uh, one of the stamp sets from the new Mama Elephant release, or the previous Mama Elephant release. It was this one called Hot Cocoa. I just loved all these little critters in their different warm drinks. I just thought it was really fun and cute and perfect for not just Christmas, but also just winter in general. Um, sending you warm hugs in a mug, you know, that could be any time of year. Also, uh, you warm my heart and soul um, any time of year, but especially winter time. So I thought those would be fun to use. And I did get the matching dies, of course. Next up is a set from My Favorite Things. And this one is called It's Penguining to Look a Lot Like Christmas. And it features these four super cute little penguins. They're good size too. Um, you know, they're a really decent size. So those will be a lot of fun. Um, if you are running out of time or just needing to make Christmas cards in a hurry, penguins are such a good idea because they require so little coloring. They're basically just black and white. And then, you know, there's just the accessory images. So very quick and easy to color. So it's always good to have, especially for me when I'm doing the entire holiday card series and I have to make so many cards back to back. Um, it's great to have a mix of some of these easier sets in there um, just to give me a little bit of a break. So um, I did get the matching dies. Very excited to play with these guys. Really cute little sentiments with those as well. And then the main set that I was super excited about was this new one from Stacy Yakala called Selfies with Santa. And you've got six really adorable like Polaroid style pictures here. And I just adore Stacy Yakala's illustrations. I think they're so, so sweet. I love this reindeer. They're all just darling. This little polar bear hugging Santa with the penguin and the snowman. So, so super cute. So I already have the die that goes with this because um, 
My Favorite Things has done several of these Polaroid style sets, so I have that die. But I did also pick up this die to go along with it. This one is the Slimline Stitch Square. I think it's called Slimline Switch Stitched Square <laughs> Trio. Um, I think they ran out of room on the label for the trio part, but I did get that. Um, to go with this, now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering how well it's going to work because it does look quite a bit smaller than the actual images. So I'm going to pop that out and just kind of take a look. So let's see here. Okay, so you could still use it. It will cut off a little bit of the scene. Not too much though. But I just thought that gave me more options to play with this set and then also just to have it for other things as well because I already did purchase the trio one and I did a card for MFT on their channel with that one and I thought the square would be a fun option as well because I really enjoyed the circle. Then I purchased a couple of paper pads. The first one is from MFT. This one is called Holly Jolly and it's got a really bright, fun color palette. So there's definitely some traditional colors in there, but there's pops of other fun colors as well. So there's the navy, red, there's like a lime green, a pink, and like a cornflower blue. It's really, really pretty. That one would be so cool to use as like an ice skating rink. I think that would be really fun. Um, and then there's a repeat of those patterns in there. So there's that one. I also picked up the Echo Park Winter 6x6. Um, I just really loved the cool blue tones. And I liked that this one. Oh, that's gorgeous. I haven't even looked at these yet. But that is insanely beautiful. Wow. Um, I love that this could be used for Christmas cards, but also just general winter cards as well. Really, really fun images here. Um, they do a variation of this winter pad every year, and I always grab one because it's just um, really beautiful, cool tones with those wintry vibes. All those cups of cocoa are really cute. Big snowflakes, snow globes. So yeah, this is one that I always snag because I just really, really love this uh, winter themed paper pad. And then I got one more from Crate Paper called Busy Sidewalks. This one is a six by eight, so you can use it for slimline cards. It's single sided, which I definitely prefer double sided, but um, I thought I would take a chance on this one. It does have some foiling if you're into that. Big polka dots, those are fun. Oh, that's pretty. Poinsettias, really detailed. Really, really gorgeous. And there is a smaller green polka dot. Some gifts, these have some foiling on them as well. Red polka dot. Some plaids, I love plaids. So it's really fun that they're doing like this snowfall and polka dot on the green. That's kind of different. Oh, that's really nice. Just a tiny bit of foiling in there. Really sets it off. And then there's a little tree or a little truck with a tree or car with a tree down at the bottom. Some stripes. Some lights. Candy cane stripes. There's foiling on that. Merry Christmas more poinsettias just in a smaller scale with less detail but you do get the little pine cones on the holly leaves in there reindeer more candy canes that's a really cool color palette I really enjoy that something different you've got the traditional red and white but then you've also got the mint and the peach mixed in there very very nice and then there's another snowflake print. That one's foiled as well. There is a little peach, like um, kind of like tally marks or hash marks. And then some ornaments and a ledger. Really fun. So that was that one. Really excited about that. So that was my entire old order from Butterfly Reflections Inc. But I did forget 
to show, I think, two items from when I did my Lawn Fawn new release haul. And the first one was this Peppermint Stripes backdrop. I had set these aside for some reason, and then when I gathered everything back up to do the haul, I forgot about these two items. So um, I thought that one would be really fun for holiday cards because I've been really enjoying the, the um, I have the vertical stripes, I believe, that were from the previous release. So I thought this um, diagonal one be, would be really fun as well. Plus you've got the wide and the thinner stripe, so it just looks more holiday. But I think you could definitely use this year round for like birthday cards or whatever. And then um, also the snowflake background stencils. I think I forgot to share this one as well. I know I shared the fall leaves stencil and I actually just used that on a card this week. So there will be um, a video coming out with that very soon. But I did also pick up the snowflake one. I just thought that would be really fun for holiday cards because I really love backgrounds with nice big snowflakes. So these are the layering stencils again. You, use, you can use one or the other, but you can also layer them because it kind of like fills in the blanks. You can kind of see through it there. Um, it'll just like fill in more of your scene. So there's lots of options with that, which is really fun. Um, I do plan to pick up a few more of the paste and things, but I do still have some different stencil paste from other companies. So I wanted to try out just the gold that I showed you in the previous release first to see what was different about it, what I liked about it before I went ahead and purchased more of them. But um, I especially really like like the clear glitter one. That one looks really cool. So I'll probably get that um, at a later date. So that was my entire craft haul. So now I thought I'd share with you a few of the little treats that I brought home from Germany. So the first one is some furrow Kusschen. Kusschen means kisses in German. And this is one of my favorite candies uh, from Germany. So it's like, I've already eaten a bunch of them. But anyway, they're like little chocolates that have a hazelnut inside and then they're um, wrapped in kind of like it says milk chocolate but it's a darker it's like a, a little bit of a bitter milk chocolate so um, like a bittersweet chocolate so I really really love these they're really really <laughs> yummy I also got some marzipan because I love marzipan. I love nuts and chocolate together and marzipan is made from almonds. So this is something that you mainly get at Christmas time but um, it's just super delicious and you don't find it that often in the States. So I got some of those. Um, I also got some of my favorites, Nippons. Um, this is like a puffed rice that's covered in chocolate. They're super, super yummy and really, really light tasting. They don't really feel like too rich. So I really enjoy those. This is usually, if someone comes to visit, this is what I ask for. I believe the Fer Ferrero Cushion are only available around Christmas time. So it really depends. I think they only make them in the fall and they don't make them in the summer at all. So um, it depends when, if someone's coming to visit, you know, what time of year they're coming. But I always ask for Nippons because those are available all the time. I also got one pack of Toffee Fay because this is another one of my favorite. It has the chocolate and the hazelnut, but then it's wrapped on the bottom in caramel. It's kind of like the consistency of a um, like a Werther's, one of those little squares. So you can kind of see them because they're in a clear package there. But it's like a caramel base and then there's a hazelnut and then it's filled with like a chocolate ganache type thing. Um, super yummy. You can find these in the States. I found them at Walmart. Um, they're just a little bit more expensive here. So I went ahead and grabbed one while I was there. And then I also grabbed, um, these were like one of my favorite snacks when I was watching a movie at home. Um, these are from Nestle. They're just chocolate chips and 
They're like a really thin, almost like a chocolate wafer that's coated with chocolate and then drizzled with dark chocolate. Super, super light and yummy. And then the last thing was um, just these little knickknacks. They're peanuts that are coated in a little shell and it tastes like paprika or I think we say pap, pap paprika in the states but um i've been married to a german for so long that i say paprika but anyway um paprika is like a super common flavor in germany um you'll get it in all kinds of like salty snacks different kind of chips and things so um those are fun so those are all the things that i purchased as a snack and then um, one other thing that I got as an addition to my craft room was this little girl here. And this is a hand-painted wooden little girl here holding her little bluebells. Um, this is from K to Wolfart, which is my favorite store in Germany. It is a Christmas wonderland. I adore it. So five years ago when I was there, I purchased the... Um, the girl with the poppies so this is her and um, she sits on a shelf in my craft room as I always it's the whole store is mainly Christmas ornaments and I adore them so much like that is where I spend my money when I go to Germany is buying Christmas ornaments my Christmas ornaments are super um, and special to me and theirs are all just beautifully handmade and hand painted but I wanted something that I could keep in my craft room year round. So I picked up this girl with her poppies five years ago on my last trip home to Germany. And then this year I wanted to add to my collection. So I picked up this little girl with her little bluebells. So I have those guys. So um, just for those of you who might not like understand the situation or why I was in Germany, um, so my husband is German. He was born and raised in Germany. We met in Bible school. He was an exchange student. Um, when he came, he didn't talk a lot. And so we all thought he was super mysterious. And it turned out that he just didn't speak English very well. So he didn't even know the word for spoon and stuff like that. So he was just shy about speaking. So he didn't talk a lot, but didn't take very long for him to learn and to open up. And we had a lot of fun. So we were actually married in Germany and all three of our boys were born in Germany. So we lived there for a number of years, I think five years all together, although there was one year in Africa, um, in Cameroon, West Africa, in the middle of that. Um, we went with our firstborn son when he was three months old. And then when I came home, I was halfway through the pregnancy with my second son. Um, and then we stayed in Germany and had our third son. And then after that, we were finally able to get my husband a green card. And so we moved back to the States because there were better job opportunities here. And then um, eventually he also did become an American citizen. So he is uh, an American and German, but um, all of his family still lives in Germany. So that is who we were visiting um, when we went back. We were there for just one week. But like I said, it had been five years since we'd been back, which is a super long time for as close as this family is. But, you know, the pandemic just kind of threw a wrench in our typical, uh, usually every two years, either someone will come to us or we will go over there. So um, the pandemic kind of messed that up so like I said it had been five years since we had seen anybody um, and in that time we actually had another niece that was born she's two years old and um, we got to meet her this time so that was really special like I mentioned in my previous video the the um, lawn fawn hall we were trying to get back to see my husband's aunt who had cancer and she died about a week and a half before we got back so we didn't get there in time to see her 
but we did get to see the family and be with them and just kind of comfort each other through that. And then he also got to see another elderly uncle who was 94, so he really wanted to see him as well. Um, so that got to happen and that was really special. And yeah, it was just a super wonderful time. Everybody was vaccinated, ourselves including, so um, we were able to hug each other and just really have a wonderful time. We didn't do too much. We did go one day away to Rodenburg op der Taube, which is a really, really old city that has its walls intact. Um, so I can insert some photos here so you can kind of see some of that. It's really, really beautiful old city. And that was a lovely day. That's the day that we went to Cato Wolfart and we also went to the Vinax Museum, which is um, a Christmas museum. It was like the history of Christmas from the birth of Christ till today, all about different traditions and about Christmas trees and ornaments and nativity sets and um, Christmas cards and books and St. Nicholas and all of that stuff. It was really, really interesting and just a lovely day. And all the rest of the time we just spent with family and it was wonderful. I wish it could have been longer because it went by so, so quickly. But um, we got to do everything we wanted to do while we were there and got to see everyone we really, really wanted to see. So that was really, really wonderful. I can't say enough good things about Germany. It's such a beautiful country. Um, it really is like my second home. I just feel so comfortable and at peace when I'm there. My husband's family is from a very small village. Um, it's like halfway between Frankfurt and Heidelberg, if you're familiar with Germany at all, in the Odenwald. And um, it's just like a little farming community. There's not a stoplight. There's <laughs> no stores. There's nothing. It's just a very small village with a lot of farms and it's so rural and peaceful and there's just beautiful forests, these ancient forests. When you f walk through them, you just feel like you're in the middle of like a Grimm's fairy tale or maybe an American adaption of one because they're not so gruesome, but um, it's just so gorgeous and historic and wonderful to be there and I love 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 visiting Germany anytime I can so anyway that was a really really long ramble but since I mentioned it in my last haul and then a lot of you guys wished us such a wonderful trip I just wanted to update you and let you know that it absolutely was a wonderful trip and I was so grateful that we got to go so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. If you um, saw anything in my haul that you were excited about, please let me know what it was. Hopefully I can move that up the list. I'm going to be starting filming for my holiday card series next week. And I hope to even have um, the first video up live for you guys this month. So I hope you guys are excited about it. I'm super excited about it. I love making holiday cards. It's one of my favorite types of cards to make. So anyway, have a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.